Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today, well, we're back with my beautiful 1959 Cadillac DeVille. This is the 6329 series, and this is the 6.4 liter, 390 cubic inch V8. And today, we're doing a fuel mileage test. We have the standard OEM style spark plug in it right now. We're gonna be going over the hump to perump to check the fuel mileage and then definitely subscribe, tap the notification bell. That way you'll be able to come back and see the gas mileage when we try the new intelligent spark plug. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean our muffler. We wanna see the difference between this new style spark plug when we do that test and the one we have in it, which is the OEM. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the muffler, see what kind of junk's in there. And then we'll see once we get back after the drive. So we'll go ahead and you can see it's pretty dark. Get her all nice and wet here. Let's see what we got. Lots of black stuff. As you'd, as you'd uh, assume, without cats, should be pretty dark. So let's go ahead and clean her up a little more. All right. That's from when we power foamed it, I'm sure. We really, really cleaned her up when we power foamed her. You'll see that in the first video we did on the playlist. You'll see that in the homepage. You'll see the whole playlist on this little angel. All right, we got her nice and clean on the inside and the outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over to the other side. Cleaned her all up. And I'm sure a lot of that tar is from when we power foamed the engine. You'll see that on the very first uh, engine flush video we did. All right, I just want to let you know we time this little angel. It's at center. We take this and hook it up to the number one spark plug. It goes right here, boom, on this red, this red wire. Then these go over here on the battery, and then you check it on the harmonic balancer. So you can set this at about three different settings. You can set it at center. If you can set it at a uh, positive uh, or negative retarded five degrees, and that's for 100 octane, and then if you have the racing carburetor, which is on the upgraded engine, you can run a uh, negative 10 degrees, which is more of like a race high RPM setting. So we have it at center and the car seems to be running good. Let's go ahead and start driving. To quick bring you up to speed if you're new to the channel, we did the MSD spark plug wire superconductor 8.5 millimeter. We did the Petronix electronic ignition, multi-spark, and we also did all the fluids, AMS oil coolant, motor oil, transmission fluid, and rear gear lube. Let's hit the road. We got her all heat soaked. Let's see what our engine temps are. Radiator, 162, 63. Valve cover, 130s, other valve cover, 130s, intake, 100, oil, and oil, the bottom of the oil, and headers. Header temp, 540, and top header. All right, cool. So we got some temps, let's feel her up. All right, we got a bottle of upper cylinder. This lubricates your valves, your rings. It also helps extend the life of your fuel pump. Really, really good. And we're gonna go ahead and throw this in, fill her all the way up. And I like to run this every full tank of gas just because you get better gas mileage. On this car, you might get, I don't know, maybe a half a mile a gallon better. But uh, on a Ford Expedition, we got uh, 0.9 average better. So it definitely can do better gas mileage, but the biggest thing is the protection on your engine. Okay, we're feeling her up. Here we go. We're gonna go until she overflows. There she is. Top her off a little more. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right, you can see it right there. See it right, right there. All right, we're good. See the level there? Can you see it? Perfect. All right, our tires are warm. So we just got done driving here for the past 15, 20 minutes of city and city driving. So let's check our tire pressure. There we go. 32, I think. What is that there? Yep, that was 32. 32 and 33 and a half. All right, good to go. All right, let's get mileage pump to pump. Take a look. 19787. 19787. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, we're going over the hump to perump. The car has been heat soaked for 40 minutes. So we're gonna see what she accelerates like once we have a uh, clear path here. We got a full tank of gas. The cameraman's about 220 pounds. I weigh 100 and uh, let's round over 190. So here we go. Let's see what she feels like. snakes here through the canyons and uh, we're going about 48 mile an hour 45 and uh, well it's pretty steep here they're doing a lot of construction so this will definitely be factored into the gas mileage take a look look at the construction they're doing all right she's holding fourth gear pretty strong but she's not punchy in fourth so we'll see how she is once we do the other plugs we have reached the top. This is the hill going over uh, Perump all the way. Now all we do is trickle down and uh, we didn't make one downshift out of fourth gear. So we came all the way up that hill. We're still in direct drive, fourth gear on this thing. Just wanted to mention when we went over the, the hump to Perump here, we didn't make one downshift out of fourth gear, which is direct drive. And it's a 321 differential. So I uh, just want you to know the gearing, all right? here and you'll be at the world famous Sherry's Ranch that's one of the famous brothels out here and uh, I can honestly say I've never had a chance to utilize it yet I 
got some pricing and it scared me out of there. <laughs> We're making a right here on Basin Road. This is where Oh Happy Bread is. Beautiful place out here. And uh, right here in the center heart of Pahrump. Right here you'll see this little shopping mall up here. And it's time to go ahead and park her and get some fresh bread. Let's do it. just that oh happy bread we'll see you back in vegas to check our gas mileage all right we're on our slow climb back to vegas cars running great uh, the wind today <clears throat> is a little bit of a wind, uh, but it should be canceled out since we went both directions. It's about 60 degrees out. Humidity is 40 degree, uh, 40 percent. Well, when we get to the gas station, we'll feel her up. All right, we've crested the top. We're getting ready to go down the other side of the hump, the hill, down back towards Vegas. And this is the twisties we came up. And uh, there's actually snow up here. Take a look. going down the twisties. All right, we're falling from the clouds back into Sin City. Take a look. <laughs> we are pulling in here and uh, we're gonna go right here and see what we got. See what we got. I wanted to also mention, check out the full playlist on this little angel. We have about 20 other videos on this car from all the fluid changes, everything we've done. So definitely check out those videos. That's in the playlist right here. Also, if you go to the home screen on the channel, we have about 400 videos on all different engine flushes, transmission fluid changes, radiator coolant, you name it, it's all there. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way when we put the new video up on the intelligent spark plug, that way you'll be able to be here and uh, see the gas mileage difference when we try it out. It's supposed to give up to 12% more power. All right. All right, we're back at the same gas pump. We're gonna put in our bottle of upper cylinder just like we did before. So everything we're doing is exactly the same. Here we go. Here we go, we're putting in 91 octane. Let's see how many gallons she takes. she is you can see her right there beautiful all right let's take a look took 8.6 gallons let's do the division all right so we ended up going 94 miles and then if you do the division uh 8.68 it's about 10.9 miles a gallon basically 11 but there's a catch the catch is uh today we had a good amount of wind the other thing is the right front wheel has a caster problem so the caster like a like a fork on a bicycle usually the fork goes forward on this car it's actually going backwards 
and it's actually wobbling and uh, it's actually pulling to the right. So it has a toe out caster issue on the right wheel. So that vibration is gonna lose, have some drag, which you can feel in the wheel a little bit. And then also we had a cameraman that was 220, 230 pounds. That's another mile, a gallon less. Uh, so I would say once we get it dialed in, it's gonna go from 11 to probably 12 and a half, uh, maybe 13. And then if we can port and polish the heads and clean it up a little more, if we can hit 15, I think that would be amazing. But hey, we're trying it. So that sums it up. If you have any questions on this little angel, just let me know. We'll be back to do a lot more uh, tests on this and definitely subscribe because we're gonna be doing that other spark plug on this. We're gonna see the power difference. Should be about eight to 12% more power and gas mileage. Well, we'll see you back next time on synthetic oil protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.